Greetings from New Zealand. My name is Lindsay Field. What I'm going to show you today is this hoof capsule and this coffin bone that's come out of this hoof capsule. And the one thing I really wanted to look at, and I'm sure you can see, is this really awful crack through here. <laughs> We've seen these quite a few of these, haven't we? And normally I just slice this down the middle and I have a look and see what's going on. But this one I wanted to look at in a different way. And I'm going to show you the inside of this capsule because it actually showed some quite interesting things. Yeah. It's just at that point there. I know it's probably out of focus because it's, it's, um, it's focusing on all that front bit, but you can just about see that down there, can't you? What my plan is, is I'm going to slice this in half and have a look at it because it's really hard to see and I can't get the light in there for you. But let me just show you the underneath of this. Now I know it's a dried out crusty old specimen but we can still glean a lot of information from it. Now where that crack was, can you see how we've got like this indentation which goes in quite a bit on the sole and it looks like it seems to be squished up all around the white line. This is overdrew for a trim, we can see there's about a centimetre of growth around there. But at this point here, it's like goes inside. That seems to be right where that crack is that's going up through those tubules running up through there. And let's have a look at the coffin bone because we are seeing a very similar effect. So just remember where that crack is and that shape. Look what we're seeing here on this coffin bone. If I turn this around so you can actually see what I'm looking at, I'm looking at this part here. Now there's quite a few holes through here and it's also got a really big dip and I think it's damaged all the blood vessels that were here and as a result all this tissue here just couldn't survive and that the bone is started to be reabsorbed and re-